is up youtube welcome to episode number two of this survival let's play if you remember last episode we went ahead and built up this starter house let me get out of the water and uh, i think it looks pretty good we had a lot of fun building it in episode one if you missed that one be sure to check it out right now go ahead and finish watching that one before this one so you're all caught up we also built this uh mine entrance and speaking of the mine we actually were wrong. We were old, outdated with our information about where to put the mine because we had it on Y level 12, but where we wanted it was apparently actually Y level negative, like 55 is where I have it. This is where we were at Y level 12. So we had to go even further down. You can see we're on Y level negative 55. What we've done is we've just dug out sort of this this box and we even found diamonds right off the bat just mining in this direction we haven't collected them yet because i wanted to do that on camera we headed to the end of this tunnel and we turned right and we also found some more diamonds right down here so let's go ahead and start picking these diamonds up okay there's one there's two and three okay so we got three out of there and pick up the gold while we're at it redstone might as well get some of this three and four all right, now we have seven all together. Let's head to back to the top for now. We're still actually needing a ton of iron as well as stone. So we're just going to come towards the top and we're just going to start mining some more stone. Okay, let's put our diamonds away. Let's, let's also put our iron in the furnace. Let's put all of these riches. Oh, nope, not that one. Okay, let's throw the lapis, the redstone, and the diamonds. Okay, before we do anything else, we are we are completely out of coal, which we need a bunch of torches for mining and caving. So let's see if we can find some coal. Okay, we got some coal right down here. Really dark. Let's go ahead and grab this. And let's turn all those into torches. Get some light down here. Thank you. Before the episode started, we actually got a little bit of uh, oak wood couple stacks probably and we're trying to work on getting spruce wood stacked up today's episode i'm actually going to want to build a fishing dock as well as a house since we are next to the ocean and we can put chests and boats now so we're going to be doing a lot more exploring by the water makes sense right here is actually where i'm trying to put the boat dock we're going to have this uh stone outside wall and then on the inside we're just going to have spruce wood and logs like this so we're going with five block gaps in between the logs one two three four five perfect one two three four five okay so we're just putting down spruce logs for now and let's get these oak logs down we're just gonna place them all where these temporary blocks were While we're out here looking for caves and stuff, we found a dog, so we might as well go ahead and see if we could tame him with the five bones that we have. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, on the first one. Pretty good. Let's see if we can get him home. Let's set you right there. Perfect. Now we got a little dog. Okay, let's get back to looking for the iron. Okay, this looks like a pretty cool cave. Our house is just on the other side of this hill. We also got bees at the top of this hill, so pretty cool. Let's see what we got down here. Holy cannoli look down there okay, we found some more coal over here oh we got some iron we can see the chimney smoke we're almost home okay, we're back home and the sun is setting let's see how much iron we have all together in here okay, we have 26 iron ingots and we have four right here and four more smelting up i think that's enough to go ahead and do a full set of iron armor so let's go ahead and make the chest plate there's the leggings the helmet iron boots throw those on Take a look. We are fully kitted out now. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty cool. And now we can make our first official diamond pickaxe. So there we go. And I'm going to save the other five for now. Oh, we got an enderman floating around. I need to get started on some ender pearls anyways. Got him. And a pearl. And a grass block cool now with all that out of the way we're back down here in the mine we're gonna go ahead and just try to bring this wall back a couple of blocks 
Now, this is just a big box for now, so we're going to have to spruce this thing up. Make it look a little bit better. I don't know. Let's come up with something and then bring you guys back. Okay, so we got the walls kind of figured out. What we're going to have on the side here is we're going to have a tunnel going this way. And we're going to do that three different times here in between our little pillars on the sides. And that will leave us the option to continue this thing going down the hallway. For now, I kind of want to get the floor in place. So let's take some cobblestone. There we go. Now we got the floor done, which is already making this place look a little bit better. And now we want to work on just the ceiling. There's not much we can really add, but I was thinking about a splash of color using the granite. Let's just add in some of the polished granite. Kind of just randomly like this. Throw in some coarse dirt like this. I want to kind of add that in there okay so now we got the ceiling and the floor done we take our spruce trap doors add them to the top like this on all of these oh no this one goes like that same with that one and i'm not really liking these so i'm gonna go change these out real quick with some barrels okay so let's place these here oh definitely not like that like this okay that looks like Already, that looks a lot better. Eventually, we're going to have some lanterns. We just don't have enough iron yet. Okay, but I think we're done with the mine for now. For now, we got enough tunnels to go ahead and start mining. So, let's go ahead and get some of this out of the way. And then we'll bring you guys back. Okay, so now that we got that done, I actually wanted to start working on the outside wall of the boat dock. Can't forget about these ones. So, let's go ahead and fill this in. Fix that one. And we're good. Okay, let's go sleep this night away. Place these in between here, just like this. All the way down. Okay, we got the wall completely done. So let's see how much spruce wood we can turn into slabs and fill this whole entire dock in with spruce. Yeah, we just ran out of planks, so we're going to have to make some more. Yeah, we need one more plank. And there we go. Now it's done. We need to add some lights and stuff. But for now, we got a boat dock. Hey guys, so I got the outline of this roof done a little bit. We're going to have a little bit of an archway right here, the same as we did on the front of the starter house right here. I'm thinking I'm going to go in the same style as that one. So I'm going to go grab the rest of my stairs and the stuff that I need for the walls and then I'm going to get to work. Okay, so I don't want the walls to be exactly like this one. Similar, but not the exact same. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of andesite in here sparingly. I think it's looking okay. It's not the prettiest, but I think I need to build this one taller, which will allow me to tear this and place that. Something like that. Now, I don't know if I should use glass or spruce fence posts for the windows. For now, I'm going to place some panes in there. Let me take my spruce slabs and see what this is going to look like. Something like this. That looks okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I think that's looking good. We're going to finish up the walls and then we're going to start working on the roof. Okay, so the walls are completely done now. We got the front looking good. The side over here is pretty plain. I'm not sure what I'm going to add over here yet. I think maybe I'm going to add a little extension here and then a area for some crafting and some storage and some pickup, maybe like a wagon. I don't know. We'll see. I'm thinking I actually want to use the inside of this instead of just having it random like an interior. I'm going to use it 
as a storage house because we're actually going to need more storage than this so i think i'm going to fill up this house with a bunch of chests and then just have dock right here so that i could go out to the sea in order to go on the boats or just to fish off of but i think it's looking pretty good right now we need to get some more stripped birch we just ran out we're gonna put those right there and then we're gonna get started on the roof for sure this time we also have this little side door over here i don't know if i showed y'all that but we can enter and exit from over here so okay so we got this front arch done let's go ahead and probably raise this one up we're just gonna go simple on this roof we're not gonna go crazy and complex like that one this one we just want to keep simple we want to get something down so we can have some storage so let's just continue building up this one we're gonna go bring up the stairs on this side straight up and then a block upside down stair slab and another slab and we're going to complete the other sides as well yeah we got some kind of shape down let's finish the rest all right, now we can start filling in the rest of this roof with our cobbled deep slate stairs. All we have to do is connect them like this all the way to the other side. We're doing the same thing on this other side as well. And I think on top of here, we can just bring these slabs across like this. All we did was put a block of stone brick here, here, and then just some slabs on top. We're going to do the same thing over here just connect them okay so now that that's done all i want to do is go back through with some polished deep slate stairs and just replace some of these regular deep slate stairs which want to add a little bit more variety into the roof since we went simple with the shape i kind of want to go and add in more details to at least the palette okay let's go ahead and finish filling in these gaps on the top of the roof right above the walls i need to find a jungle so i could start uh getting some scaffolds because i'm tired of using dirt pillars okay so now that the walls and the roof are finished actually yeah i forgot one okay i think that looks good let's go ahead and take down this dirt pillar Get that out of the way and now we got a house at least the outside of it pretty much finished we need to find some chains not find but make some chains to hang these lanterns from the front just like we need to finish making the pathway here we need to add way more stone okay looking good now let's get the floor done in here because oh we're also missing a window we'll get that in there but we need to dig up or so let's go ahead and take this down I think for now we're just going to use birch planks for the floor because that side of the room we're actually going to fill up with chests. Okay, my PC was not recording, but I thought it was, so I apologize to everyone watching. But we didn't do much besides we finished the interior of the house. Where we left off was, I think we were finishing up putting this birch floor in. Um, since then, what we did was build these arches with the lights in the middle. We also put in all of these chests because we want this house to be more of a storage area. So it's looking good for now, but this area over here is obviously empty. I told you guys in the last episode, I'm not great at interiors. So if you have any suggestions of what should go in here to fill up this space, then please leave that down below in the comment section. Later on, we're going to be putting in the boat docks to go out that way and one over here going out this way. But as you can see, we finished the backside with a little bit of foliage. We put some gates up on the edge of the roof. We also built this little awning over the door right there on the back. A little planter box and more foliage on this side we got some hanging lanterns more foliage over here and all in all i think the house looks amazing for now what we're going to do is i cleared this little area out over here i want to work on getting just a farm area built up so what we're going to do is work on that but let's get this placed get some logs down place the gates in front like that and we're going to want it to go 
around it's nighttime so we're gonna go inside real quick but you get the idea of what we're doing we're just gonna continue this pattern and finish it up around here so i'm gonna go to sleep real quick and show you guys when we're done okay so the outside's done now let's take a look the inside we got a little bit decorated not much um actually we need to take that block and yeah there we go that looks better same with this one you never want to leave those gaps in there now that this is done we actually need to go and find some cows let's go find us some cows i think i seen some over that way last time we were over there we're gonna take the long way around oh not what i wanted to do okay so we have three cows over here let's go ahead and see if we can yeah let's get this guy following us we got the second one come on little cow wow there's even a fourth one let's see if we can grab him so let's head on back home with these guys and i'm gonna see you back at the pen this guy is a little slow and he's about to get smacked come on back here to your new home all right now we got some cows let's go ahead and start breeding these guys up jump on here real quick there's one last thing we need to do for the video but before we get into that i do want to read today's comment of the day this was from last episode episode number one and this comment is gonna come from just chronic actually uh an amazing name love it great job on that and he says or she i don't know nice vid chief can't wait for more episodes. Also, I'm the 69th sub. Nice. And I agree. That is That was nice. And I appreciate you dropping by and taking the time to comment. So thank you very much. We're going to sleep real quick. But I really do appreciate all of you commenting. And if you want to be featured in the next video's comment of the day, just all you have to do is comment down below. It could be anything. It doesn't really matter. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start working on the next and final part of the video which is going to be the wheat farm first we need to push this land right here back that way okay so i think all we're going to do now is just complete this circle or oval whatever you want to call it we're going to finish it and then we're going to get started on planting the seeds actually we're going to need to fill up some water buckets and get them in here but yeah we're just going to finish the circle real quick we need some more leaves let's go Take these shears and let's grab a bunch. And our diamond pickaxe is actually about to break. So we're going to have to find some more probably in the next episode. Okay, let's go ahead and add in some of these leaves. Okay, so we have a pathway going down the middle now what we need to do is i'm going to add some water probably right here Let, yeah i have one bucket so let's go ahead and fill this bucket we're just going to put water in all of those holes and then we're going to go make a garden hoe okay let's get to work Okay, we got all those crops hoed so let's grab our seeds which we forgot to grab because we're dumb okay we obviously overestimated the amount of seeds we had but we'll finish the rest as soon as we get more we do have a little bit more but we're gonna have to wait for yeah we only got a little bit more so we're just gonna leave those go plant these flowers we forgot to grab our lanterns we're gonna grab those and add them in here and then we'll call it good. We only have six for now, but they'll do. We're going to sprinkle them in. One here, one in the middle, and then one there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, we finally finished up the garden. It's looking good. I like it. I like the way it turned out. It's going to look amazing once all the crops are grown up and we're actually able to use this. Guys, it's looking like I'm all out of time. So if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or just helpful tips or you just want to talk, go ahead and comment down below. This episode took a while to make. It was fun. We have a lot of work still to do in the world, so we're going to get 
going. But if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the content and you don't want to miss out. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. Thanks for stopping by, guys. My name is Diamond Dimer, and I'll see you in the next one.